the Earth is 4.5 billion years old, so it stands to reason that over the years, millions of plants and creatures have lived and died. These deaths leave a trace. Sometimes it can be bones, and other times, just an impression of what the once living thing looked like. A fossil can be anything from a dinosaur to a tree. Here are five of the most amazing fossils ever discovered. As always, sit back and enjoy. The Valley of the Whales. Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, the Tethys Ocean was filled with large numbers of whales and sea cows. And when these creatures, some measuring up to 60 feet long died, their huge bodies sank to the seabed, where they lay undisturbed as the world around them changed. As the years passed, sediment built up over the skeletons, and eventually the sea receded and the seabed became a desert. The winds came, the dinosaurs lived and died, Rome rose and fell, and the winds continued to erode away at the sediment, covering the whale's bones. That was until 1902, when the first fossil skeletons of whales were discovered in Egypt. However, due to the terrain and the difficulty reaching the area, the fossils attracted little interest. It wasn't until the 1980s, with the advancement of all-terrain vehicles, that the site was properly examined, and it revealed hundreds of fossils of some of the earliest forms of whale and sea life. The site also potentially uncovered an explanation for one of the greatest mysteries of evolution, the development of the whale from a land-based creature to an ocean-dwelling mammal. No other place in the world yields the number, concentration, and quality of such fossils, and the site is now a protected World Heritage Site. And it was at this area, in 2015, that the first complete skeleton of a Basilosaurus, thought to be a prehistoric whale, was discovered. It measured 60 feet long, and inside it was another complete fossil of a smaller whale. It's unclear whether the larger whale was pregnant, or it had eaten the smaller creature as its last meal. This unique whale fossil has small back legs that are complete with feet and toes and provides further proof that whales have evolved from land animals into the ocean-going mammals that we know today. The Zombie Ant At first glance, this 48 million year old fossil of a leaf seems pretty mundane and boring, but it's actually the oldest known evidence of a parasitic fungus. The fungus is called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, and infects ants by taking over their brains, once infected, the ant is compelled to leave its nest and head directly to a random leaf. The leaf then provides the perfect environment for the fungus to reproduce. Once the ant gets to the leaf, it finds the central vein and then bites down on it so forcefully that its jaw locks and it's unable to move. Now forever fixed into this death grip and unable to free itself, the ant eventually dies still attached to the leaf. However, the fungus that has infected the ant lives on and has sufficient time to grow out of the dead ant's body and release spores that are able to infect other ants. The leaf fossil was discovered in Germany and the area is now a designated World Heritage Site because of its vast quantities of fossils, which include mammals, birds, reptiles, and over 10,000 species of fish. Scientists assume that this fossilized ant is an ancestor of the carpenter ant and this phenomenon of parasitic manipulation still occurs among the colonies today. The Mosquito In the movie Jurassic Park, the prehistoric mosquito is found encased in amber. Dinosaur DNA is extracted from the blood of the mosquito, and scientists are then able to clone dinosaurs. But fact is often stranger than fiction, and now scientists have discovered blood molecules in the stomach of a real fossilized mosquito. The mosquito would have lived 46 million years ago, just as the sea that was home to the Basilosaurus whale was disappearing. In what is now the Glacier National Park in northwestern Montana, the mosquito sank to the bottom of a pond and slowly became encased in sediment and shale. After an amateur fossil hunter discovered it in the 1980s, amazingly, it was left to languish in his basement for over 30 years until it was rediscovered by Dr. Dale Greenwald, a fossil hunter and retired biochemist from the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Washington. Using state-of-the-art technology, the mosquito was identified as a previously unknown species, and a detailed chemical picture was made of its stomach contents. This mosquito is an unbelievably rare find. It died just after feeding, and was then preserved immediately without any disturbances to its delicate, swollen, blood-filled tummy, 
giving scientists a unique opportunity for studying. Unfortunately though, it is not old enough to be filled with dinosaur blood, and so that sturge still continues. Dinosaur Battle Let's go back approximately 73 million years ago, to the late Cretaceous period. A protoceratops, a doctile herbivore, is busy feeding on some ferns, completely unaware that it's in danger, when suddenly a velociraptor appears. The velociraptor is a small but fierce carnivorous predator who walks upright on sturdy back legs who would not normally attack the more powerful protoceratops. But he is hungry and hunting for food. He sees his chance and attacks the larger dinosaur. He leaps onto its back, gripping the creature with its large, crescent-shaped claws, but he's unable to pin the heavier dinosaur down and is thrown off onto the ground. He desperately hacks at the dinosaur's throat, slashing it open and possibly severing an artery. The protoceratops, now bleeding to death, desperately fights back, using his powerful jaw to clamp down on the right forearm of the velociraptor, breaking it. It's the exact moment that a sand dune, weakened by heavy flooding, suddenly collapsed on top of the fighting dinosaurs, burying them together, mid-fight, forever. As a best guess, this is how the two dinosaurs were found in 1971 in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, forever fossilized in mortal combat. The Velociraptor, with his now deadly claw embedded in the Protoceratops' throat, and the Protoceratops, with his strong jaw locked onto the predator's forearm. Paleontologists found the fossil buried in white sandstone cliffs. It now resides in the Mongolian Dinosaur Museum in its capital, where it's thought of as a national treasure. Natural Selection and Hobbits In 1972, at the side of Lake Rudolph in Kenya, a human skull was discovered by a Russian scientist. The skull had a large brain cavity, and unlike other homo type previously found, it had a long flat face and very large teeth. The humanoid was named Homo rudolfensis and is thought to have lived between 2 million and 1.7 million years ago. It would have coexisted side by side with Neanderthal men and Homo sapiens in Africa's Rift Valley. This discovery was in stark contrast to the discovery made in 2004 when Australian and Indonesian researchers discovered some fossils on the island of Flores in Indonesia. The fossils included nine skeletons, none of which measured more than three feet six inches. They were named Homo floresiensis and nicknamed the Hobbits. In terms of other fossil finds, these were quite modern, and it was estimated that the Hobbits would have existed between 60,000 and 100,000 years ago. In addition to their small stature, the Hobbits also had incredibly small brains. But this doesn't mean they were dumb. There is evidence that they used fire for cooking, and sophisticated stone tools were found with the skeletons. Scientists now believe that these two fossil finds are just two of the many subspecies of humans that have existed over the millennia, and who eventually went extinct. Scientists now strongly believe that it seems nature was creating several different prototypes of human, until ultimately the fittest one, us, were the only ones that survived. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So that's five of the most amazing fossils ever discovered. I hope you've enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.